people who told you manipulation has to be had for you to actually look good look at this picture right now here's the before of the picture here's the after whatever i told you i was able to achieve this picture in less than three to four minutes it's surprising right so with no further ado let me show how i do that so this is a format layer but the first thing i did before i brought the picture into my photoshop right now as you can see my picture is already retouched i already retouched my picture so i did what i went to every two ai if you all know that's what i retouched in my picture as of late so i was able to remove all the blemishes in my picture remove all the background remove all the blemishes as you can see here the before and here's the after i was able to retouch and i was able to apply a perfect skin tone for my subject so if you want to know how to do that there are tons of video i dropped on my channel that is going to help you when it comes to photo retouching and the video and you also want to get discounts whenever i want to purchase because it's a paid software but use the link down in my description and you're going to be getting discounts a month there so let's say we're done with this right now i was able to clean the background i was able to retouch the picture i just did what i did about the photoshop but before i did that i was i don't i only retouched one of the picture i retouched this then i copied the settings and i pasted it on every other picture so i was able to retouch 13 of the picture in less than three minutes because i already know all my sliders how it works perfectly so now back to photoshop but if you don't have this that doesn't mean your picture won't come out nice but this is just the first thing your picture editing process back to photoshop right now forget about this layer this is actually a formality layer this is just showing the result of what you want to achieve so background layer right now the first thing we need to do is to duplicate our background layer by clicking on ctrl j if you're using a macbook that's going to be command j on your macbook so you can now change the layer you just duplicate it right now let's change it to subject subject or you can just use client or whatever you want click on ok so next thing you need to do right now is to do it make selection select your subject out of the background so there are so many tools you can use you can use a quick selection so you can use a select subject if you also want to learn how to do that there are tons of video but as a photographer you want to learn manipulation you need to know how to do this basic step especially when it comes to background remover so i'm going to think you guys actually know how to make use of that so the next thing we need to do right now is to select the subject so i already have my subject selected i saved the selection just not to waste the time so here's my subject over here as you can see i've made the selection perfectly next thing i just need to do is just to right click on it i'll go to feather on that feather i'll make sure it's on 2.0 or 3.0 and i'll click on ok the reason why i do feather my picture is we have, if i have to crop your picture out to that feathering it's going to have sharp edges which is going to be obvious that yes you changed the backdrop so with feathering the uh, edges right now it's going to make this outfit she's wearing her skin is going to make it blend with the background at the edge that's the major reason so now i'm done with the feathering what i just need to do is to click on this max icon over here now we remove our background so if I'm to turn off my background layer, as you can see, we have our subject on an entire new layer. So let me turn into back right now. Unlike before that, I'll be doing go back to background layer again, duplicate it once more. This we are not going to be doing that because Evoto has already did what smoothed our backdrop for us and everything. All I just need to do right now is to do it. Go to my file manager, and I'm going to go to where the background is located. If you watched the video to this point in time, that means you're loving my tutorial. So the only thing you can do to support me right now is just to click on the subscribe button and also drop a like. And if you also have a question, you can also drop a comment. You subscribing, you liking my video is going to make YouTube recommend my videos to others. And that's going to encourage me to create more videos like this for you guys to learn from. And note, I will also be dropping so many files that you guys can download for free. Files you need to be getting for premium. Each like count, each subscription counts. This is the background I'll be using right now. There are tons of this background if you are here to join my Telegram group. Kindly do so now so that I will be you will gain access to all the spies I'm using right now. Free of charge. You don't need to pay time for it. I'll be giving it out for free. All you just need to do is to help me like and subscribe. You subscribing is going to help you to promote my video. So that it's going to motivate me to drop more free files and more free videos like this. So I just have to do it. Drag it down to my Photoshop. Then I wait for it to load up. Right now it's not actually filling the entire document for me. This background is already made. These are already made backgrounds. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to expand it till I see if it's I will expand it. See, I want it around this way, right? I'll click on my OK. But the issue I'm having right now is my subject where my subject is not showing here. The reason is that I actually drag the background above my subject layer. What I just need to do is to come to the subject layer, to come to the layers over here, drag it below it, and boom. We already have something very, very nice. 
but we're still facing one issue right now the issue we're facing right now is that the footer shadow is not there and without the footer shadow our, ban our manipulation is not going to look nice right so for me to do that right now I'll go back to my background layer again i'll duplicate this once more so this one right now let's name it shadow let's name it shadow this shadow layer now drag it on top of the background you just brought in like this right then from the blend we'll change from normal bring it down to what bring it down to multiply and boom, our shadow is now there. Look at the before of the shadow, look at the after. But right now, it's actually not just affecting the background, the footer area alone. It's also, it's also affecting all these other area, which are dark also. So what I just need to do right now is, on the, on the shadow, control L on it, right? Under the darkness, you drag it down to in intensify the black, right? Under the lightness also, bring it up to brighten some area up for you. And boom, you are good to go. Your manipulation is already nice. But I'm having some shadows at the top here also again. Create a max on it, pick your brush, make sure the color is on black. If this is on white, make sure it's on black so that you can clean up some area. Increase the brush size till you see if it. Then you scroll white, that area. Can you see? But it's actually not blending to my perfection because I'm using a represent opacity. I'll control Z on it. The under the opacity, I'm going to drag it down. 48. And I'm going to scroll once, just once. As you can see, which is perfect. But right now, I don't like the way my skin tone is right now. I want to bring something that is going to make my subject pop out. So these slots, they are really for sale in my store. You can just go and make purchase today. I'll be giving the background for free, but I don't give out my lot for free. So what I just need to do right now is to click on my uppermost layer, which is the subject layer right now. I'll go to adjustment, color, uh, adjustment layer. I'll go to color lookup. On that color lookup, I'm going to click on load 3D lots, as you can see. And I'm going to load it up because the one I want to make it up is actually not in my Photoshop. I'll click on load, then I'll go to the location where it is. So it's under my lots. I call it the perfect skin. Perfect light skin. And I'm going to click on open. And boom. But the issue I'm having right now is it did not just affect my subject alone, it affected everything in the picture. Right? And the opacity is too much. So firstly, I'll bring the opacity down. Slice it, it. Click on enter. Then I'm going to do what? I'm going to Ctrl I on the max because it came with a max. I'll control I on it and I'm going to do what select my subject. My subject max. I'm going to click on it like this. So it's going to bring back selection for me. Then I'll go to the max of the color lookup I just brought in. And I'll make sure the color is on white. I'll make sure my brush color is on white and I'll reduce my brush size. I'll reduce it very well till I sip it. And I'm going to paint over the area I want the color to apply to, which is the face, the hand, and also the leg. You can see right now. Ctrl D to the select, and boom, our manipulation is already looking pink. With this right now, we're able to achieve nice manipulation. Though I took much time, more than the three minutes I talked about, that was because I was trying, I was trying to explain a little bit better so that you guys can be able to get what I mean. So this background is available for download. The picture is also available for download in my Telegram group. You can just go and download them today. So if this video, don't forget to drop a like.